I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game. So it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Well, onwards. Uh, yeah, the, and the, the thing won't be up either. Yeah, the, can, the the Queen Slayer won't be enabled. Well, well, I guess we can finish the Druid Stone now. So there is that, I suppose. Fire Orchid Seed. I believe to get these seeds, we need to uh, just harvest orchids, right? Well, let's go and see if the stone head has respawned. Omega lull. Ooh, the spider's up good. I need that. Wait, this guy died instantly. What? Dude. Like we <laughs> Honestly, I kind of miss it. Do you guys not miss when like a champion was epic? This guy's having the time of his life right now. He's like, holy shit. I'm fighting an insane spider. It's destroying me. This is amazing. Okay, there we are. Done. We have the web. The webbed rune stone. Okay, good. Oh, I guess we might as well. Oh, oh, oh no. I need my things. A molten bouquet for rosewood. So we need a molten lodestone. We need onyx lodestone, glacier lodestone, charge lodestone. Fortunately, I have all of those, but I don't... Uh, have the, I'm gonna check the champion first, the Stonehead. I really like uh, this map a lot. I think that's partially why I never felt super um, hard done by when it comes to the Druid uh, loads, uh, the Druid backpack. I think this map is fantastic. I love the layers that it has. You know, um, I love how there are different enemies on each layer and different wild wildlife. You know, like each thing is its own biome and you're crossing between them. It's very cool. Whoa, look at him go. That's crazy. Get him. We got him. Right, hang on a minute. I am going to have to manage my inventory a little bit, it seems. These rune stones are getting out of hand. Element of the Saurians. The big problem is that my material storage is full. So all of I'm now getting like stacks of tier five materials like popping up. I have I have two stacks I think of these totems. Yeah, I do. Look, I, oh god no, it's terrible. This is just uh, not good. But it's fine. We're gonna hand in this stuff. Oh no, I'm one space. Okay. Oh, this is a problem because I need to actually go get the rune stones, don't I? Uh oh, uh oh. Right. When you're dealing with champions, it actually really helps to get rid of any of the other mobs around it as well. It's actually pretty important to do that. Because the what will actually get you is not the champion itself. It's like all the annoying things that are just like pew-pewing at you the entire time. I think what's very interesting is that players... Um, this is definitely a concept that you encounter a lot in PvP. Players do not understand the concept of kiting. Uh, in this game, you are faster than NPCs. So if you're ever feeling pressured, you can just run away, pretty much. That's always worth remembering. You don't have to trade. People play Guild Wars 2 almost like it's WoW, where you have to, you know, trade by attrition, pretty much. You don't really have the opportunity to avoid damage by simply not getting hit by things. But you can do that. It works very well. I highly recommend it. Oh no. This is a complete catastrophe. What am I going to do, chat? What am I going to do? Do I have anything that is just totally worthless and I can get rid of? Well, I guess I can sell some things, maybe. Ah, right. Go away. Stop giving me items, game. Please, I beg of you. I can take no more. And I can't buy any bag slots right now. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'm sorry, ain't it? I, I'm sorry. Okay. We're done here, though. And now it's time 
to go and get some lodestones. I'm not doing it. I will not clean my inventory. Okay. Uh, what lodestones does it want? Charged lodestone. Gotcha. I'm going to go into the negative gold now because I'm going to get rid of some expensive materials. It's a bit unlucky, isn't it? Glacial lodestone. Molten lodestone. Okay. Right, let's go talk to some druids. <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of the... <laughs> Have you guys ever heard of a video game named The Mystery of the Druids? Now, that, my friends, is an adventure. I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll unlock this skin, and then I'll sell it for two and a half gold, because I like money. I should have put some stuff in the bank there. But you know what? I think I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it just to just make people slightly angry all the time. <laughs> I, I want people to look at my game and just be a little bit mad, right? Like, they... <laughs> I think that's good. I personally think that is the direction we need to go here. Dances with demons. The spirits of Aurene. Okay, my inventory is going to free up a little bit now as I talk to these druids. Druids. Here's this one. Rosewood. What have you got for me, my friend? Tell me some druid lore. Why are you here? Our connection to the other druids has been weakened. Rarely do I hear their whispers in the wind. I fear the worst. We do not know how many of our brethren are left and what has come of their gardens. I hold no hope that help is on its way. It <laughs> it's a Guild Wars 2 player, guys. <laughs> I was wrong. The game is self-aware. Oh, look at, all, look at all that stuff. Fungus has been known to spread, suffocating all other life. It must be dealt with swiftly. Whoa. Sp spiders must be pruned like any other organism of this biome. It was an unholy abomination. Melandru smiles on you. These intruders do not belong. Thank you for defending our grove. Fascinating. Thanks for sharing. After time of blissful harmony with Melandry, we druid says, Oh, just, oh, 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 we need to do this. Hang on. This is important. We have to do the, this is. Okay, we got a little bit destroyed with Immelhoof, guys, but let's go. Check this out. Uh, henge. A henge away from home. Look at this. This is perfect timing. We need to actually kill both of these guys right now. Wow, how exciting is that? Yeah, see, we need to destroy destroy uh, Aestus and Ignis right now. Then it's Molten Desecrator. Oh. Oh. That's not good, though, is it? Because Molten Desecrator, I think that's part of the pre-event, isn't it? Okay, so we have to plant... Let's see how many seeds we need. Oh, plant three seeds. Holy shit, we need a lot of these things. Okay, so we need three, six, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 seeds. I have four. Okay, so we've got a little bit of work to do there. Sometimes it's going to be difficult to, you know, to do enough CC to carry this. Right, I need to go get all the orchids, though. We must harvest some orchids. Do these... Do I get one AP for each of these shards? Let's see if we do. No. I did with the tokens, but not with this. Oh, look at that. We're nearly at eight. We're nearly getting up to eight and a half K achievement points. I am a massive achiever. I'm an overachiever, you could say. I think for some weird reason, by the way, this one just doesn't, you know, I, I think this is a bug, actually. Oh, also, hang on. Looks like both were happening at the same time. I'm not sure if this is intentional, but this one, check this out, guys. This one randomly doesn't have a shockwave. The other one does, but this one doesn't. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the way it is, but that is the way it is. Quite strange, but that's how it goes. Got him. All right, nice. Make the rune stones. Boom, boom. We are just making some insane progress right now. Seven out of 32 on this backpack. This is just, this is crazy. Oh, yeah, we have to go kill some elementals. Ooh, I actually know a trick for this. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Look, this is big. Uh, ooh, 
Let, should we go do it now? Maybe I should go do it now. I have just brought it up. I'm going to go do it. So, here is a really fun fact. I believe it is here. But in Malkor's Leap, all of the elementals are right next to each other. I think that's true. Let's see if I'm correct. It's one of the cathedrals here, I believe. You can actually find all the elementals you need all in one place. Instead of having to kind of like run around all over the place, uh, I believe everything is here. Well, I mean, this is a good start. We have sparks at least. So these are our air elementals. Okay. Oh. How many, I, how many do you want? Oh, there's the fire ones. There we go. Huge. Give me the essence. Hand it over. Let's go. Right, I'm going to do the... Oh, they're immune to burning. We're in Core Guild Wars 2, guys, and I only do burning. Uh-oh. You know, this is where you could swap a build, but honestly, huh, I'm too lazy. I can't be bothered. There we are. Wow. It hasn't dropped yet. I think it's over for me. Maybe I will never get this drop. Maybe I'm here forever. Yeah, I think I'm actually trapped here forever, guys. Forever killing the fire elementals. Okay, the good news is we have now obtained the essence of fire. Oh, and there it is. The essence of air. Anet heard me. They heard me flaming them. Okay. Let's continue. And here are the earth elementals. Let's round them up, actually. I'll just aggro all of them. Hello, friends. I've come to make a backpack out of you. Boom. Love it. And now we need the water elementals, I think. Is it water elementals? I think you need them, right? Uh, we need glacial, yes. Ice elementals. Here we go. Yeah, that's a very neat trick for this. So if you're on the druid backpack or someone needs is on this step, this is a really good place to do it. Okay. So that's all of that done. So I think the order of business here is going to be... Uh, we have to wait for another set of Draconis Mons to get the Desecrator. So basically, I mean, the event starts again almost immediately, so that shouldn't be a problem. We need a Vision Crystal. That's easy. I actually have one of those set up. So yeah, now we just need to... I think I'm going to do the Druid Collection so I don't grief myself by perma-depositing. And then we'll do something else, I guess. Yes. Elementals have been... Okay, right, let's get these Lodestones. So we need Charged, Onyx, Glacial and Molten, and we need a Vision Crystal, which I have there. Good. Okay. And we're looking good here. Now, we have to do a lot of harvesting. I have seven seeds, and I need 15. Which ones do we have to talk to? We need to... Oh, we've done all the Druid Flowers. That's nice. So we've done all the Lodestone stuff. We need to make a Vision Crystal to Kadama. We need to wait for the event to start again. Yeah, so it's already started, so that will just be going on the background. Uh, we just need a few more orchids. That Yeah, that's our main order of business, is going to be finding more orchids. Which I think should be fine. And so now I need to find two more seeds after we do this. Right, have some elemental rune stones. Enjoy. Have a vision crystal. Enjoy. Come on, this is the final orchid. I know it. It is. And there you have it. 14 fire orchid seeds. Okay, quick detour. Detour to Istan. Give me Istan. You know, pet peeve. Hello, Guild Wars TUI designers. Please make it so when you're on the inventory, the items go away. Because I cannot click Crystal Desert very easily because the, the elements here kind of cover it up and I don't like it. Uh, I know you can kind of click through, but it, it, it bothers me, right? It, I don't like it. And look, it's hard to click on the Crystal Desert thing, so I can't go to Path of Fire and leech my piñata. So, fix that. Right, Istan, here we go. Ah, yes, here we go. Yeah, so, ugh, look at this shit. This is a, you know, this is just, so, it's so much fun, guys. For Vision, we have to craft, what is it, uh, a million astral weapons? I don't know, it's a few of them. 
Uh, but here's the deal. Uh, in order to actually unlock the recipes, we have to do a seven-day um, time gate. Is it hard? Absolutely not. It's just a bunch of trivial, like, running around, pressing F, pretty much. Very, very easy. Uh, but it is a seven-day time gate, so I guess we better get that going right now. And we need ten Kralkatite. Yeah, the best, the way that I, I've actually got all of the Season 4 materials that I need, and it's all from Strike Missions. So I just do Daily Strikes, and the Daily Strikes have carried me to an insane degree, and I love it. Uh, because you get Eternal Ice Shards, and you can talk to vendors uh, in Bureau Marches to convert Eternal Ice Shards into Season 4 currencies. While I'm here, actually, I guess I better start Vision. There you go. I started Vision. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? And oh boy, have we got some content to do here, guys. Goodness me. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am ready for the bridge events. I am excited for the bridge events. I love the bridge events. It's just so good. Okay, here we go. Have some Kralkatite. Enjoy. Seven day time gate. Here we go. Lovely. Uh, right, and now back to Draconis Mons. Boom. Fire Orchid Seed. We're so close. We have nearly done all the Fire Orchid Seeds. Now, we have to do the next part of the event here as well. We must cull the destroyers. Ah, uh, yeah. And now we just have to do the... Ex We've done all the ones in Draconis Mons. So now all you have to do is do Cathedral of Verdance, Dry Top, and Mount Maelstrom. And we also need to do the Element of the Desecrator. So we need to go do the event. And this is actually perfect time. This is working out really well, isn't it? It is working out very nicely for us. Right, let's go Molten Desecrator. I'm getting swarmed by a thousand destroyers. Guess we better kill the little lads first. All right. And this is all we need. This is basically the final thing that I'm just going to go out into the real open world, then go back to uh, Kodama afterwards. And we will have completed a henge away from home. One of the most feared achievements in the entire game. Very funny, but we've done it. Kodama, have the rune stones. There it is. I like that we're actually going to finish this without even being in Draconis Mons. That's quite funny, actually, isn't it? Okay, so we need to go to... I guess we'll go to Dry Top first. That one's very easy. Right, and then it's going to be... Uh, ver the, uh, we'll do the Cathedral of Verdance. That's uh, he here, basically, isn't it? Here we go. Fertile soil. Boom! There it is. Boom. And there it is. A henge away from home. Job done. And just a split second before reset. Not that that's actually particularly important. Um, but there you go. We did it. Nice. I'm kind of waiting for Immelhoof again. Because I just, I just want to kill it before I go to bed. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be angry. Yeah. Yes. Onwards. Yeah, I did force them to do CM. Uh, it was good. That was actually a good call. I like it. Doom CM is going to be fun. Change the game account name. Cause any issues? Ah, uh, nope. You're good to go on that. What point you get a flying mount? You start getting a flying mount in at the end of Path of Fire, and then in Living World Season Four, you get another one. Mm. It's what is it? Nolan's Homestead, I believe. Uh, it's in 20 minutes or so. What else should I do? I mean, I guess I could go do something else. Uh, while I wait. I'm actually going to go do World vs. World dailies while I wait for the uh, map memes. For the Siege Master. I can probably get in most of them. Siege Master Immelhoof should be in 14 minutes. Let's see if we have Daily Veteran. Okay, right. Let's see if I'm getting wrecked here. Let's see if the Siege Master is up. Man, I'm hungry. I am hungry today, man. Oh, shit. Run. Oh, no. It's been captured. Dude, I... I, I we could believe... Ah! 
No one was here. Is it the, the oh oh no? It's over, guys. Wait, can I spawn the siege master? What do you guys think? Do I can do it? I don't think I can do it. I think it's over. Okay. Maybe if I do this, I can win. Is there an event here that I can do? Oh, maybe this guy's got the same idea. Okay. So what do we have to do here? Uh, intercept the white mantle supply dolly act before it gets here. I don't think we care about that. Uh, oh, I see. We have to just do. We have to just kill the white mantle. Wait, how many of these do we have to kill? Yeah, it spawned before the timer. I think that that's one um, the issue. That's what kind of wrecked me last time is that it spawned like a little bit before. Although I think that actually is intentional. Um, I think it kind of marches towards here, and if you don't stop him, uh, then he also assists in the assault. Are you serious? Wait. How, wait, maybe if we kill the Dolyak, this goes a little bit quicker. Because this is pain. I, I'm not doing this. Go. I feel bad for the Yak here. This doesn't... This seems a little wrong, almost. We've made some pretty big progress, though. I think... I think I can finish um, Aurora tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh... Uh, Wait, hang on. Um, is the, the the Bitterfrost Frontier thing? Oh, that one's so troll. Because um, don't I need like a thing from the chest in the bitter cold, but it's not 100%? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love it. I like that. But I can probably finish everything else except that tomorrow. So we can we can definitely burn these collections pretty fast. I think I'm not going to do this. I don't want to waste my time like killing 10,000 white mantle when I can just wait until tomorrow and there's no reason for me to do this now. Um, because I'm not really in a rush. I'm not in a rush, guys, you know? Overall, though, I think we did a very good job today. I am happy with my performance. We got a lot of the kind of annoying collections done, including the Wayfarer's Henge. You could now use this up, you know, I could do if I wanted to.